Hello there, this video continues the previous video where I teach you how to set up, configure and um, uh, run MongoDB uh, in virtual machines with the sharding feature. So as a quick recap, I've got a master running which is this window, uh, Ubuntu master. Uh, Mini D, Mini E, Mini F are the smaller uh, Mini ISO Ubuntu, and they run the uh, a smaller version with the less uh, powerful uh, system. Three virtual machines, and they are here uh, on the far right of the desktop. Okay, the three three screens. Okay, they're running the config servers. For these three, okay, um, these are the replica sets. They are the shards and. They are relatively uh, larger size, two processors each, with a base memory of 8 gigabytes. I've got 60 gigabyte of, of uh, hard disk space partitioned for Mini A, Mini B, and Mini C. Um, the Ubuntu master runs the Mongo app, Mongo shards, and that's the server, and it's running here. So the previous video, if you check the link below, it teaches you how to set up um, all necessary IP addresses, uh, in installation, and so on and so forth. So check out my check out my previous videos. Um, for this video, I'm testing uh, the sharding, uh, 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 sort of stress testing it. So um, you know, the first thing you need to know is to know how to get the Mongo stat, okay? And if you run Mongo stat with a discover, sorry, discover, not discovery. Okay, it's going to connect to 127.0.0.1 and if you insert into this um, you know locally the mongo db running server running locally it's going to just insert into the local host not going to get into all the you know partition into all the chunks in the shards so um, the way to connect the clear the screen and the way to connect is to actually put a host keyword here, okay, parameter, and then putting in all the uh, replica sets, which are the mini A, B, and C on at the center of the screen. So these the three, okay. And the IP addresses for that those three are um, okay. That's actually two processors. Um, 101, 102, and 103. So that's what I'm putting in with the port number which the three are listening to. Okay, so mini A, mini B, and mini C are listening to 2018, and that's it. So if I run that, okay, it's going to connect to all three and show you the, you know, the inserts and so on and so forth. Okay, inserts updates, okay, and so on and so forth. Now there are changes around here because I've got a process running with Node.js pulling in data from the web. So that's why there's some activities. But what I'm going to do today is to use Node.js, which is JavaScript, to put input 10 million records into the shards and we'll see what happens. So I've got the Mongo sharding uh, which is pulled from Git okay, from my local uh, Mac Pro, MacBook Pro and the two main files are data main.js and data.js so we can have a quick look at data main.js now I'm, I'm using Skype which is a, an editor you could use anything else um, Skype can be installed with this, okay, but I've already installed it, so I'm gonna just run it. Okay, looking at data main.js. Right, in data main, my input will be 10 million records. Okay, um, don't worry about the characters and the key because they are they will be they're not used. Okay, what is used is data.js file. Okay, which I'm pulling in, and the db dot stress test. So I'm inputting 10 million records. Um, 
yeah, with the character sets. Okay, I am actually using that. Um, and also the test DB database and the test data collection, which is in the DB. Um, and this has been set up in previous videos, so check those out and get back to this video. So I'm saving that. And on the other hand, I'm going to open the data the JS file just to show you what's happening in the script. Okay. This was also featured in other videos um, where I stress test the old HP um, what uh, XW let me have a look XW eight two zero zero workstation. Okay. Now stress test is the function of calling. So I'm, I'm sending in these parameters, how many records, the input, which is the character data sets, the database name, the database collection, and the callback function, which is called here. Okay. Um, at the start, I am connecting to the server, which is where MongoS is running, and that's at the Ubuntu master listening to port 27020 and that's the IP address. Okay, also here I'm connecting with the Mongo client okay, to this IP address and the port number with that database name which is testdb. Okay, and the first thing is to set some uh, variables and these variables controls the output. So what it's doing is that you know for every count I start with zero. Okay, every time it reaches a thousand, it will output the key. So I don't have you know a whole spam of key, sixty-four character key sets, you know, pumping out through the screen. So I'm I'm just limit, limiting it to a thousand. Every thousand record, I'm outputting the key. So now um, this loop here generates sixty-four character keys from the key I gave earlier. Okay, so it's picking random numbers okay, and just set it as 64 and though that is a key. So now this is inserting um, using the collection okay, which is here. Okay, so I'm connecting to that collection and I'm inserting the key okay, which is the name now name is also set up previously in the previous videos as uh, the shard key. Okay, uh, shard collection should have a key, and this is the key to it. And then I have a, I have a callback function, and eventually completed successfully inserting 10 million records. Now I'm not going to insert all 10 million records. I'm just going to test and show you that the sharding works. Okay. By looking at the Mongo stats. So um, if I close tight, control C, that closes that. So what I will do now is to run the data main.js uh, program and every thousand records is outputting. Okay, as you can see, okay, it is quickly inserting look you know there are inserts numbers sometimes you see something happening around there because it's just you know um, uh, breaking things into the other shards okay, um, at a certain juncture it will it will you know, I'm going to close it now it will you know replicate to the other sets okay and so that's the test of it. You know, I've inserted uh, 179,000 keys into the MongoDB. Okay, and let's have a quick check. So what I will do is to connect to the Mongo server admin show DBS. Okay, um, test DB has those records. I'm going to show um, use test db. Okay. Um, 
and show collections. Okay, and test data is right there. Um, so if I do a db test data dot find, it gives me all re all the records. Okay, and you can see it has been inserted. Okay. Okay. Um, now uh, you might want to check the status sh status. Okay, just to see the configuration of the shards. Okay. So once I've run that, you can see that I've got three shots running, 3.5. Um, previously I had one, two, and three, but it doesn't matter. I removed them and we added them again. So, but they are of the same IP address. Um, it's partitioned. Um, shot key is name, okay, for that particular database. Test DB. I've got also sharding, okay, working the three, five, and so on and so forth. Um, also for the earthquake database, I've got shards working as well. Okay, so you can have as many databases as you want, and it will show all show in the sh dot status. Okay, so that's it. I've tested it. Um, so if you want to learn how to do Mongo sharding, including all the installations of the virtual machines and so on and so forth. Please check out my other videos. Like if you like this video, and comment, give suggestions, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.